Hey, what is up guys? Today we're going to be working on part two of this little Viking style sawmill, or I guess you could even call it a lumber mill. I'm honestly not really sure uh, what the difference is between the two, but I'm pretty, pretty certain that they're as close as possible when it gets to certain types of machinery. But anyways, uh, we're going to be building sort of, I'm not sure if it's going to be a house or a store or just maybe some storage area, uh, but we're definitely going to be adding on just because personally I think uh, this sort of build just needed a little bit more uh, to make it something special, just like we sort of did with the horse stables, where instead of just doing like this little overhang thing in the back, uh, we decided to actually give it a little living space and then some storage as well. And so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first block or item that you're going to need will be just some regular spruce wood logs. And I guess we can start on the right side, since that should be the easiest uh, sort of spot to guide you guys from. So if you see this pillar right here that was on the previous build for part one, all you're going to do is go to the left of that one and then back one and then just raise that up four tall. And I think, let's see, that's two, that's four. Okay, so we want one too high. So just make sure it is four tall. Then you can go ahead and leave a gap of three to the left of that and then place another pillar of four. Then do one more gap of three, do another pillar. And then this back side, or the left side I should say, is actually going to be the exact same. And so will the back. So pretty much every... A uh, pillar that is four blocks tall is going to be separated by a gap of three, uh, which we will soon be filling with our wall materials that are going to be uh, just the cobblestone and the spruce wood. Uh, so I guess we can pretty much just do that right now. So we'll start up with the cobblestone. And for this little section right here, I'm going to leave this empty for now, uh, partly because we're not going to have a wall there. It's going to be a storage section or some sort of like a little garage where we can just throw logs and stuff in. Uh, but for the rest of it, we can just go ahead and place in uh, just one block tall all the way across the bottom with the cobblestone and then on top of that what we're going to use will be the spruce wood and then right here just on the middle you can go ahead and leave that space open for a doorway and then speaking of doorways let's grab our spruce wood planks and then swap those out and then we can just make a little small archway which is going to be two by three which should leave us the perfect space for a door and just while i remember i'm going to place that in right now and then we can move on to the other walls. Now let's see. Thinking. Actually, let's leave that for now. So for this wall, actually I should say this one, this one, and this one. So a total of three. We're going to make these have no windows. But I believe we should have room for windows on all of the others. Should be good. Because usually the more windows the better. Until it gets to a certain point, uh, then it's kind of overcrowded and it just too repetitive. But usually if you keep it somewhere in the middle, the build tends to usually look the best. Alright, so there we go. We got three windows and then three walls without windows. And then, I guess, two in the front with the door and just an open space. So on top of those, what we're going to do is just switch back to our spruce wood logs. And then do a sort of little pillar like this. Or not pillar, but a cross beam. And we're going to do this across every single wall. Just to kind of give it a more finished look. And don't worry, this is not the only cross beam we'll be doing. We're also going to do one pretty much just right above this. And so we'll get to that pretty shortly. And now for the outside of this little thing, on every single pillar, you're going to place, uh, I guess, if you're on a corner, you'll place two more sets of the four tall pillars. And then if you're in the middle, you will only have to do one. And so once again, we're on, I guess, this is sort of like a corner and the middle, but since it is kind of blocked off by our previous build, we're only going to need to do one. And then, let's see, we got one more middle pillar right here, so we'll do one. And then here we run into another corner, so we'll place two in here. And then on this back side, we'll do two more sets of one. And then we should be pretty much done with these for the first floor. Now, what I like to do is place a block going up, making each one of our first set of pillars that we place down uh, five tall instead of four. And so they'll be, if you do them right, uh, they're going to be one block taller than the last pillars we just placed in. Um, for this bar right here, we can go ahead and leave that open for now. But pretty much for everything else, what we're going to do is just bring this out two blocks so it creates a sort of overhang of one. And that's just going to give us some space to place in uh, some detailed pillars that look pretty similar to this, if not exactly the same. Uh, so we'll move on to the left side, start placing these back in here, and now we'll do our final three on the very back. And then, as I said before, we're going to do one more set of the cross beams. And these will go right here, so in the middle of the three wide thing. We'll just do these all the way around. 
And when you place these down, make sure they're not on top of the previous ones, but instead uh, one block up and one block to the right. And then they should fit in there perfectly. So we'll do these. And then if you'd like to, you can also place some just right in there. And personally, I think that may look a little bit better. And then what else could we really do? I'm thinking we might as well just start deleting all these because we honestly are not going to need them. And then we can switch to some oak wood planks. So I'll just swap them out for the pickaxe since we really don't need that. And then what I like to do is instead of just filling in the whole thing for uh, the sake of time, I'm just going to do just one little layer all the way across the outside. Just kind of making a big giant square out of the oak wood planks. And what this does is it just pretty much makes it a whole lot easier to place the walls for the second floor. And then we'll do right here. And like I said in part one, I really wanted to try uh, to make a doorway right here. But to do that, we're going to have to, since it is kind of one block up, I'm not sure how we ran into that problem. But what we're going to do is we'll place one block in right there. And then I'm thinking we could probably do something. In fact, let's swap that out. So we'll grab uh, this instead. Maybe, okay, we're going to need a cobblestone full block and then cobblestone half slab for this to work. So we'll place it in the full block right here, then a half slab right here on the same line as the fences. Then we can switch to a door really quick. And then we can place this in. I'm thinking we'll place it uh, right here instead of doing it like this where it's right on the edge because that looks kind of weird in my opinion. So just make sure and place it on that side. And then that pretty much should be it for that. Before I forget, I also want to place in uh, some windows on the first floor and also a little bit of extra detail. So we're going to grab, um, if you are in this texture pack, I might recommend using the white stained glass or maybe a darker shade like the black or gray. Uh, those usually look cool. Uh, but if you're in the default one, I would suggest probably sticking to the plain old, just the clear one. Uh, so just it's just called glass paint. Nothing special, but it usually does tend to look the best in that default texture pack. So our next step and pretty much our final step besides the extra pillars is going to be to place a line of three fences in right underneath the cross beams on the very top of the first floor. And you can even put them in on the corners if you'd like to. Don't have to though. It's just sort of that extra bit of detail that some people might do and some people won't. But uh, I gotta say either way it does pretty much look good. And it's basically the same. And then underneath all these fences, all you're going to want to do is place in a row of these half slabs, which are just going to be spruce wood planks. So we'll do this all the way across. And then for this one, I'm thinking we could probably just do a half slab right there and then make sort of a little archway, just to kind of mix it up, since this is uh, sort of a garage area where uh, we're going to kind of want to leave it just a little bit open. And then another thing I might want to try would be uh, sort of a little another sort of gateway I guess. So the materials we'll need are cobblestone walls and then cobblestone half slabs. So on the outside of these pillars we're gonna go one, two, three, and then on the right side we'll do the same or same thing, so one, two, three. Then we can do a cobblestone half slab right here, here, and here, and then these last two. Uh, so it kind of makes another arch on top of the spruce wood arch, uh, which in my mind looks a lot better than if we just left it without that cobblestone archway. And so yeah, you can do that, or you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but that should pretty much be it for the first floor, besides uh, these extra little pillars that I'm going to place in right now, which will be uh, two cobblestone walls, I guess one block apart from each other. And then in the middle, we're going to stick in a fence. And then the only other thing we're going to want to grab would be some cobblestone stairs. And with these, we're just going to place them right underneath the little sticky yachty bit on every single pillar. So we'll do these first so we don't have to waste time. Uh, pretty much just rotating through all our items and then after that we can just use our cobblestone walls place these in really quick and then after that we can just move on to our fences and just stick that in the gap and then we'll be done although there is one more thing that i may recommend uh, you guys try just to kind of give the build a little more support and sort of like a 3d effect and so it's not so flat and that would just be placing in some cobblestone stairs on all three wide gaps leaving sort of a space in the middle where the window is and just go ahead and do this all the way around, even the doorway right here, if you'd like to. Uh, although I'd probably leave this one open. So let's see. Um, we still need to do two little sticky yachty bits right above the fences. Uh, but other than that, that should pretty much be it. So I'm thinking... Here, let's do this. We're going to delete. Um, what will we delete? 
Okay, we're going to delete this whole little column right here of the mixture of stairs and the spruce wood logs. But that should be pretty much all we need, although we could... Here, let's place this one back in. And then we'll do... So as you see right here, this is the middle. We're going to go two blocks to the left, place in a four tall pillar right there. And then we're going to go left one, forward one, place in another four tall pillar. So one, two, three, four. Delete that one so it's four tall. And then... I guess we could probably, we'll raise this one up as well, and then we'll delete this row, raise this up four tall, and then go back one, left one, and raise this up four tall, and then that should pretty much be it. Now we're just going to do the exact same thing, uh, three blocks to the right of that, so leaving a gap of three, then place in a four tall pillar right here, then go back or forward one, right one, place in another pillar of four, then go ahead and move yourself all the way over to the front side, and do that exact same thing right here. So place a four tall pillar, then go right one, back one, and place one more pillar. Then you can just connect this with a cross beam. And what I like to do is just do two sticky addy bits on either side of that. You can even do one right here. And then do the same thing on this back side of the build. And then we can connect this all the way across with one more cross beam. Same for right here on the back. And then if we want to place in some windows, although I'm not sure if we'll have room or not, in fact, yeah, let's leave it out. So what we're going to do next would be sort of the roof shape for this side. So we're just going to start it off right here by placing one block on that side, one block on that side, and then I think it might go up four more. So let's see, one, two, three, four, and then it'll go only three up on this side. So one, two, actually four up on this side. So one, two, three, four. So there we go. A total of four up on either side and then one block in the very middle. Then we can just delete these, then we'll raise a little straight pillar up in the middle, delete the very middle block on that, and then just sort of give the rest of the thing a sort of checkered design. I find that usually looks best with a Viking style. Sort of gritty, I guess. And so after that, there's really not much left to do except maybe placing some sticky addy bits right here. Oops. And then same thing on the back side. And then we also have room for two more, maybe one on this pillar and one all the way over here on this pillar, and then we can go ahead and place in another little triangle shape. This one's not going to be as big as that one, but instead we'll just go up one, two, and three, and then just, we'll just go back down on the other side until we get to that block, and then we can just do the same exact thing on the back. So just kind of mirror it, and you should have it turn out pretty good. And then there we go. So I guess we could we could start on the walls right now, or before we do that we might as well just sort of connect everything with a little cross beam, which in the end will make it a whole lot easier to place in all of our hay bale blocks, because uh, those usually like to turn different directions when you don't want them to. It just This is going to end up cutting our build time, at least for the roof, in half, uh, which is a good thing, for sure. So we'll place these in, and then we're also going to place them in on that little bigger roof down there, and then we should be done with our spruce wood logs. So let's throw all these in really fast. Might be easier to go from this side and just drag your way back. Um, in fact, we're going to go all the way back until here. And then we'll go back down on the other side. Once again, drag this all the way back until it goes under this little cross beam right there. Same with these. And then this one can just connect until it hits this little pillar. And then you pretty much should be good with those. Uh, now I guess it would be time to sort of just start filling in our walls so we can grab our spruce wood. Now for any three wide gaps, or I guess five wide gaps in this case, uh, that's where we're going to have our windows. So just do uh, five blocks across the bottom, then just make a little square of four blocks in total on either side, like this. And that should perfectly pretty much make its own window right in the middle. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So five blocks across the bottom, and we'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that leaves us space for a window in the middle. And then I guess we could just do something like this where we go up, oops, up three and then over one right there. Same thing on this side, one, two, three, then over one. And then uh, we can just fill in this whole back wall. And when you do this, make sure and not fill it in uh, in the spaces themselves, but instead go one block back just to make the build look a bit more uh, 3D-ish and not so flat. So there we go, now we're done with that, and we can also fill in these walls. So we'll go up one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I guess we can just leave it there so it's only two wide, and we'll do the same thing over here, so one, two, 
three, four, five, six. And that's pretty much good enough. Now, uh, before we go any further, I'd like to place in this little outline with the oak wood planks. And this is just going to make it so we don't have uh, sort of a nasty gap above our windows. And I'll show you that right now. So if you grab our little window panes, we'll place these in really quick. And so as you can see, it kind of leaves this weird little open space. So that's usually why I like to fill it in with a row of the oak wood. Plus it kind of makes sense since we're probably going to end up doing this anyways uh, for the interior, just for like an attic floor. Uh, but after you do that, we can just place in four blocks of spruce wood right here and four blocks of spruce wood on this side as well. And then we can place our window in and then we will be done. Um, so is that it? I guess not because we still have to finish the roof, placing in all the hay and stuff, which I guess is sort of the most tricky part of the build if you think about it. Usually takes the longest. So let's see. Um, before we go any further into the roof, I would like to kind of get our little detailed pillars out of the way. So we're going to place in, I think we only really need four of them. So if we do one right here, and then we're only going to be do, or we're only going to be able to do half on this side. So we'll just do a cobblestone wall and one fence. And then on this side, we'll have two cobblestone walls and one fence. And then I think it should be the exact same on the back. So let's see. Yeah. So we'll do one half of them right here, and then this one will be a full pillar, so two cobblestone walls and one fence, and then that should be good. One other thing that I usually forget to do, at least I think I forget, is placing in these little bits that stick out to the side, which really kind of add to the detail that goes into the building. And we also may want to place in these cobblestone stairs that go right below those, and that should make it look a whole lot better and a lot more detailed. So we cannot forget to place those in. So also two more on this side and now we can finally start with all the roof um, so we can go ahead and start making sort of the outline of it and to the uh, to do that we're just going to start I think we'll start on this one so we'll go and place one block right there then go right one so it creates sort of an overhang and then we can just work our way up from there until we get to the top then we can do one upside down stair and then just go back down on the other side like this and then we cannot forget to remove this little hay block just to kind of make it look a little better and a bit cleaner. And then we can start doing our little upside down stairs below all of these. And then we cannot forget the Viking design, which you've probably seen uh, in every single one of these builds. Uh, so hopefully you guys know how to do them by now. But if you don't, if you're kind of new to the series, uh, I will definitely make sure and show you that right now. So all it is is one full block on top of the upside down stair. And then we can do two upside down stairs on either side of that and then two upright stairs on top of both of those. And then we can just go ahead and do a, let's see. For this, we're going to need the full block. I'll just put them closer together so it's kind of, or sort of easier to get to them. So we'll do full block stair and then a half slab. Uh, we only need the half slab for one thing, which is just going to be uh, the very middle of the roof, which will be right there. And then after that, we can just connect the top of it with these stairs facing towards it. And then I guess we can do the, the other side right now while we're at it. So we'll place those in and then if we'd like to we can even do uh, some more starting right here. Just kind of working our way back until we get to the top of the roof right there. And then I'm pretty sure that should be it. Oh no, we have to do that side as well. And then we may want to place in one more stair right here, if I remember correctly. And then once again we'll do one right there, then two on this left side. And then we can just work our way up. This is actually my second time uh, building this thing, uh, which is the first time I've had to do that in a while. Uh, when I first started out, I would usually have to build the builds more than once just to kind of give it or get a hang of them. Uh, so it would be easier, or so it would be easier uh, to sort of do a tutorial on it just so I could kind of remember how. But uh, now that I've sort of gotten better at building, I guess it just sort of comes naturally and I don't really have to build them more than once. Uh, it just kind of flows and somehow turns out, luckily. Uh, but yeah, this will be the first or second time making this. All because, for some reason, the thing I was recording with decided to put like a solid line down the middle of the screen and then both pictures on so uh, either side of that kind of got like flipped to the opposite side. So it was just like one big nasty mess. So I figured <laughs> I'd rather not upload that uh, since it was pretty much complete crap. And yeah, that's why I'm doing it again for the second time. But I guess it is kind of fun. Uh, I really have enjoyed building this one. It is really unique and I think uh, it kind of stands out just because instead of just doing uh, the little sawmill, we decided to add a little bit to the right of it, which is really uh, sort of that extra bit of detail that some people 
uh, tend not do. So where were we? Um, I think were we done with the spruce wood for this? Oh no, we still have to do this roof down here. That would have been bad if we forgot to do that. But anyways, uh, for this we're just going to start on the far left and then just kind of work our way over. I think it'll be a total of five stairs on the bottom, so it creates an overhang of one to the right. Then from there we can just kind of work our way up, deleting these stairs to the left, just kind of guide our way up. Oops. And then on the very top we'll place it an upside down stair. And then I guess why not, let's make our little biking design. And this should be the last one we need to make. So once again, it's just a full block with two upside down stairs on either side of that. And then two upright stairs on top of both of those. And then from there, we can just work our way back down on the other side. Like this. Until we get all the way down to sort of this bottom layer. And then from there, we can just drag all these blocks over to the right. Once again, it'll be a total of five of those. And then, oh yeah, we can't forget. We also need to place in all of these upside down stairs. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. And then five on the other side as well. So one, two, three, four, oops, four, and then five. And that pretty much should be all we need with the spruce wood. So we can just go ahead and toss that for now and then switch over to our hay bales, um, which I'm hoping, if I remember correctly, will be the last thing we need to do for this build. So what I like to do for these is just do a solid line all the way across the bottom, uh, facing the same way towards the stairs. And then from there we just go up, placing one at a time, facing outwards towards the stairs. And then pretty much everything on the inside is just going to be facing uh, towards you. But before we do that, let's just do one solid line right here on sort of the second bit of roofing, uh, facing out towards the stairs. And then the same thing on this side. And then I believe we have to do that same exact thing over here as well. So we'll do that really quickly, and then I guess we can just face all these, oops. But as I was saying, face all these out towards the stairs, and then same thing back here. And let's see. Oh yeah, these as well. And then pretty much everything in the middle, just go ahead and face those towards you. And in the end, that should give it sort of a nice little outline look on the outsides, and then uh, the insides will kind of all look the same, and it'll just pretty much create a nice looking pattern and sort of realistic one too and then once again since this is sort of the middle of this oops we haven't even done this one yet so let's go back here and finish this one off so like I said just face all these out towards in your direction now on the other side we'll do the exact same thing so a solid line facing the same direction out towards the stairs on the very bottom and then on that left side, we'll just go one, two, three, four, facing out towards the stairs. And then all of the ones in the middle are just going to be facing out towards us in the same direction. And there we go. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure and let me know down in the comments if you do have any ideas uh, for the interior of this build. And also if you got any ideas for any other sort of building that you want to see me do in this town. Although I do need to mention that we should probably be making some houses because we I'm pretty sure we don't have a single one in here which is kind of odd usually towns uh, tend to have some houses in them I guess right now our only sort of living space would be the inn but that's about it so I'll definitely probably be doing a house for our next build uh, no doubt about that but um, yeah if you have any ideas for this town let me know also if you have any ideas for some other styles like the gothic or medieval one I think we're going to be doing uh, the medieval style in the next video so if you have any ideas for that, make sure and let me know. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time.